Hey, I'm J.D. Andrews, Forrester with Southern Veneer Specialty Products. Forrest provide us with over 5,000 products, some of which you use every day. In this video, we'll be talking about plywood and the process in which it's made. You might ask, what is plywood used for? Well, plywood is used to make walls, roofs, floors, furniture, playhouses, skateboard ramps, and more. Like all forest products, the plywood making process begins in the forest. Loggers look for trees that are straight with a minimum diameter of 14 inches. To determine the diameter of a tree, a forester measures the tree at about four and a half feet off the ground. This is referred to as diameter at breast height, or DBH. Loggers are in charge of operating very big equipment to harvest trees and load them on the trucks. Truckers are important in this process because they transport the logs to the mills where they are converted into plywood. At a plywood mill, the logs are debarked and cut down to the right size. Any bark, chips, and cores removed from the log that are not used at this mill will be shipped somewhere else to be used for fuel, mulch, fence posts, or even animal bedding. We do not waste anything when making these goods from the woods. Once cut down to the correct side, these logs are spun super fast against sharp knives to peel them to a thin ribbon of wood off the whole log. This ribbon is similar to the unrolling of fruit by the foot and is called veneer. The veneer is then cut into identical sized sheets and dried to remove the moisture from the tree. After the drying is finished, glue is applied to both sides of the veneer sheets and they are laid on top of each other to form the plywood. Different types of wood are used for the face pieces or outside pieces depending on what you want the plywood to look like. Plywood is so interesting, isn't it? Can you find anything made out of plywood in your home or school? There are so many things we can make using our goods from the woods. For more information, check out our website at ncforestry.org.